family. It's Tiffany Hills popping in with a video. I was just chilling, minding my business, and um, I wanted to come and deliver this message um, from the ancestors and Big Mama. I just been really just sitting with energy, just enjoying quiet. And the ancestral realm says that they are so proud of us at this time. Like, so amazed and proud and I don't know how to explain this feeling I'm feeling, but it, it almost makes me emotional, but at the same time just feeling just very triumphant and victorious. Um, we've made it easier for them to get the job done in their realm and in, in the spiritual realm. Um, we've made it, you know, just by holding a certain vibration and doing the work and up in, up in our vibration and the frequencies and doing the study and, and delivering the messages. It's just like they are so elated and proud of us. And, it, you know, um, but Big Mama came and she said 413. And I've been I've said in the past videos that four is 13 and like the wind them picked up when I said that and like I said I don't always know what the what the full message is so I said let me get on here and you know um, deliver that that message at least and so when she said four thirteens, um it got quiet <laughs> when she said four thirteens, she was um relaying that the video I made about the spiral the video I made after that talking about our hair and so this you know about us being in the spiral and off of the the cycles of the circle we've gone into this spiral so we've hit 13 on the planet number nine is you know you know nine ether and you know the spiral and things of that nature but nine plus four is 13. How can I? She's giving it to me as it's coming. So nine plus four is 13. Um, we've hit this as we've gone into this, this spiral. We're, we've hit this energy that is not that we're home free and we don't have to do anything, but it's this peace that has taken over the planet. But we've, how can I say, in the words of Remedy H, like this simulation, and he was talking about coming out of um, the simulation into reality, that's where we are now. But it took a lot to get us here. And in times past, we haven't been able to accomplish what we've accomplished now because of the unity and because of the belief in self um, we've accomplished this monumental goal this monumental task where in time past we failed we would get almost there and then something would happen you know whether there was a, a breach in the, the in the um, information that was going up for the unity um, some, you know, some energy overtaking something at the last buzzer. But what's coming to me is, um, I was watching Shikari Richardson and that, um, when they won the gold for the relay, right? And so the first is, is there's, you got the four runners in a the relay. There's that four again, right? Four is 13. So when the, um, um, I had wrote down the names, but when the first uh, young lady started running, she has to each runner has a job so when the first young lady she took off it was like she um she has to build up the momentum right that's her job so in some of our in some cases our job is only to be a reference point we're delivered to, we just supposed to be a reference point so when that person or when we drop a seed and that person light goes on and they become enlightened or you know the first thing they're gonna think about is you like oh yeah uh, such and such used to think about she used to talk about this or he used to talk about that and yeah he was talking about this back way back when you were just supposed to be the reference point right so then the second young lady she running not the, not the first runner hers was the momentum right 
and the second runner she has to she has to be like the burst like the catapult she's like the she's like the um uh the burst like the super dope you know what i'm saying she has to make sure that she her speed isn't up enough that when she throws it past the baton to the third runner that's where the breaking point is right so she's like the supernova so first one builds up the momentum the second one she's like the supernova she's gonna spark for that short amount of time and then burn out right so by the time that third runner comes she you know um she has to have that speed that it has to and there's a bee i'm gonna hand let you land on me if you want to um hello mother ocean <laughs> so she has to um uh by the time that third runner that that third runner her 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 job and these are all daughters and mothers the daughter and mother energy the daughter and mother energy is 13. daughter mother mother energy the celestial mother and the daughters on the earth which are the ancient energies right daughter mother is the 13. so by the time she make it to that third runner three is the number of magic that's when you pull you pulling shit out your hat i mean all you got to do is think it and it appears all you have to do is feel it like we're in this feeling like if you are trying to bring something into this realm um into fruition into the physical you all you have to do at this point is feel it you can think it but all you got to do is line that vibration up with the feeling and it will appear it will give you the direction as to what you do physically what to do physically to bring it right so that's the third runner you know what i'm saying she is um the magic you know what i mean like how did they do that like she's the turning point and so that's what the ancestors are saying like we made it to the third runner right but in times past something would happen where the third runner between the third and the fourth runner something would happen where we wouldn't make it all the way right so by the time you get to the fourth runner the fourth runner like she's completion but the third the fourth runner in the relay she is the anchor right she got to hold everything down so by the time she get that baton and she um she has to take it all the way like she, it's life and death by the time she gets that baton she can't look back she has to she has to she has to know the baton is about to hit her hand like she has to feel it she can't look back for it she has to know that that third runner who is magic is going to deliver it so by the time they get to her hand she got to carry the earth she got to carry the universe she got to carry the galaxy she got to carry the star system everything is hinging on her so that anchor got to hold everybody down and the anchor is always the fastest they're not gonna give it to nobody who ain't gonna bring it through to fruition right so in the times past i was talking to y'all about the uh, the rejected stone has become the cornerstone so we know with shikari richardson that whole thing she went through um i believe it was last year or two years ago where they um made it so she didn't she wasn't able to compete because she smoked the weed or whatever the case may be and now she coming back like okay y'all took me through it you know what i'm saying y'all you know y'all try to take it from me but you didn't but she she's the she's the um uh what is it she is the flojo like she's the, the the energy of flojo she is the embodiment of flojo like that's flojo you know what i'm saying she is taking this all the way and she's um holding her ground she's speaking her mind she's standing in her power she in her high vibrational energy she's not for no games so mama ain't gonna give the but that baton to some it has to be that person who's been doing the work that person who ain't gonna uh hold nobody up forget everybody i gotta make sure i got tunnel vision to make sure that we cross that finish line now if you have been watching um shikari richardson and the the girl from jamaica uh -huh, i believe her name is sharika and sharika ain't for no games now nah, shikari won the 100 and i think sharika runs for jamaica she won the 200 i believe um but the beautiful thing was and it makes me because i was watching this i was getting teared up because I, I knew my mama was talking and so i started to get emotional i'm like oh my god i had to watch it and rewatch it and rewatch it but when 
Sharika, the Jamaican um, runner, she won the um, race. Sharika went over there and she on the ground and she just hugged her so tight and you could just see the camaraderie like, yeah, we competing, but this is, um, it's like, I want to, I want to run against the best. I mean, yeah, we, this is the game and whatever, but I understand you, my sister. I understand what, um, what we're doing here. And, and, and when you win, I'm going to be just as happy as it is, um, when I win and, and, and they all go up to each other and you know what I'm saying? And make it be the, um, but you feel something different in this time, right? So the, the four thirteens, that's each runner. Like we all have a spot. We all have a position. Everybody is important. Everybody work is important, right? By the time that the, the, the Sharika got that baton, she was in a zone. Sharika was on the side of her. I was like, this is going to be close. Sharika, I mean, Shikari, she told that day gone, uh, rolled up. She like, mama, I got this mama i got this you know what i'm saying and so with those four 13s we're in that 13 energy you know what i'm saying the nine is the one through nine is the 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 numbers that's on this earth you know what i'm saying the, the planetary numbers when they say don't nothing goes knows goes um any higher than number nine but once we start making it to the um uh, the universe and the other star systems and the other planets, you know what I'm saying? Then we go into 13, you know what I mean? 13 energy. And so now we can bring that energy here. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Like we're coming together. We loving on each other naturally there. If you, if you, if you, if you feel what I'm feeling, you feel it's more peace going on. Even with all the chaos, I feel this, 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 this peace, you know what I'm saying? And I want to cultivate that energy. And so when things get a little out of hand um, or the, the energy seems to be a little uh, um, chaotic and a little um, off, I told you what I do. I go in there and I cook. And when I tell you that energy straighten right up, I mean, everything just goes back into position better than I could have done it. You see what I'm saying? And so at this time, y'all, you, you in that 13. Um, Sister Meyer has told us like, you know, 13 is the highest vibrational number, but 13 is the daughter, mother energy. That's the daughter, mother energy. And I came across, um, some, um, information I've shared with a few sisters and, um, this is mama, mama, um, mama Zogbe's, uh, information. Now she's right up there with, um, the era of Dr. Ben and Dr. Henry Clark. And I hear like what I've been hearing, you know, like it's like, why didn't some of these master teachers, um, other than um, who you know who mentioned her work, um, was um, Natural Tahuti. He um, mentioned the the book um, Mama Zogbe wrote, um, where she talk about the Sybils. She has two books, um, and so I just came across this work. I was watching the videos, and I was like, totally engrossed. A lot of the stuff we heard before and some of the stuff we've never heard before. So I'm going to put the um, the link to the playlist um, in the description box. Um, shout out to um, the uh, sister who's, um, whose channel this is. Um, it's, um, shoot, I have to go in there and look, but it's, it's some, I think it's M, M, W, H, S, W, A, I believe. Whatever the case may be, all love to her all love all love bowing down bowing down okay um she um has the playlist on her channel and i've learned so much i've been taking in so much i've had a vision that um mama zogbe came to me and she um put a crown on my head and she said um i don't think she said anything through her energy i could feel what I just conveyed you know what I'm saying like she said now you are a daughter mother now you are a daughter mother so we're in our daughter mother energy even for the men y'all and y'all daughter mother energy you know what I'm saying and so we're about you know um restoring our um restoring the earth you know what I'm saying we're in our restoration period we are in our restoration period that's what I was saying like straightening our hair having that heat too close to our brain causes uh, a chemical imbalance and so now we're getting, you know, we're going back to the spiral. You know what I'm saying? We, the, the spiral is our antenna. It is our connection. 
to mama. You know what I'm saying? That's the art. Just look at your hair as an umbilical cord. That baby ain't growing or doing nothing if it's not attached to that the, the that umbilical cord and getting all its nutrients and um, nu nu nutrition from the mom in order for that fetus to grow. Um, I'm also going to put um, uh, Remedy H's channel, um, the um, the link to his channel in the description box. You know how you just come across some information and then you be like, mm, I don't know. And then you go back because Jake Farrell put me up on Remedy H. And I was just like, oh, I don't really think I'm ready, you know. And then I went back and I'm just like eating deliciously. Um, and so um, I've said this in times past, like if y'all getting something and you are um, being fed well, you know, make sure you donate. You know, I make sure I donate. I make sure that I make it a point to donate to the serious times to um I, I have to donate to serious times and wherever you're getting that information from that's taking you to the next level which you know this that's pouring down into you you know what i'm saying make sure you donate you know what i'm saying it is very um uh yes it's, the people appreciate it but it's really more for you you know what i'm saying because when you do that you don't really understand the energy that you put out um when you keep that balance the giving and receiving balance and so um when I'm getting that information, I have to make, I make it a point. I make it a point. Um, so give, you know, if you've been um, uh, receiving, make sure you, you you balance it out with giving. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you balance it out with giving. It's, it's a gift for you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be bringing some more information with the 413s. But that relay, um, I'm going to put the, yeah, so the link, uh, Remedy H, um, the link to Mama's Old Base playlist and of uh, the the relay with um the u.s winning gold i believe the men and the women won gold to be to be honest and the men went for no games neither listen but mama had me focused on the women so yeah four thirteens, fam we in that 13 we in that 13 spiral please and thank you i love y'all i will see y'all in the next video um y'all know how to uh, contact me um uh <laughs> I can't remember my email. Tiffany's Love Heals. You know, everything going to be in the description box for your fairy readings, spiritual consultations, dream interpretations, inspirational, tailor-made voice notes. And I'm going to put my cash app. Um, I'm going to start putting my cash app in, in the description box just in case y'all want to donate. It's all good. I love y'all family, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.